Mexico's Riviera Maya is no stranger to grand beachfront properties. With a long line of all-inclusive resorts promising to place guests within arm's reach of the Caribbean Sea. But the resort I will be talking about today can do you one better. In 2016, the El Dorado Maroma unveiled a line of exclusive bungalows that not only offer access to the beach, but also place you directly on the pristine turquoise waters. Modeled on the stilt houses usually associated with the Maldives in Indonesia, these palafitos are setting new standards of luxury in this part of the world. They've also quickly become a favorite of high-end North American vacationers who would otherwise have to spend long hours on planes and shell out thousands of dollars to visit the Indian Ocean or South Pacific Islands. Curious about how to plan your next trip there? Want more details about the rooms and various amenities on offer? Then come with me for a quick tour. The Palafitos Overwater Bungalows are located in the Caribbean Sea, along the picturesque Maroma Beach. In 2011, Maroma was ranked one of the top 10 beaches in the world by the Travel Channel for its clear blue waters and snorkeling spots. The 30 overwater bungalows are a part of the El Dorado Maroma, a Carisma hotels and resorts property with over 100 luxury suites located on shore. The El Dorado Resort is about a 40-minute drive from Cancun Airport and shares the beach with several other resorts, including the Secrets Maroma Beach Riviera Cancun and Catalonia Playa Maroma. It is also 10 minutes north of Playa de Carmen, 15 minutes from the Playa Car Golf Club, and in close proximity to many of Cancun's most exciting attractions. But the nearby attractions are, of course, secondary. The main draw of this resort is its 30 stunning standalone palafitos, each spanning over 800 square feet. These palafitos, which is the Spanish word for stilt house, are divided into three categories. A standard overwater bungalow, an elite bungalow, and a two-bedroom presidential bungalow. The rooms feature traditional Mexican design elements, such as thatched Palapa-style roofs and wooden furnishings typical of the Yucatan Peninsula. The sand-colored exteriors and pops of blue inside perfectly complement the Caribbean waters. Inside, the Palafitos come with a host of luxuries, such as a fully stocked minibar, large hot tubs, aromatherapy showers, and king-size beds. Oh, and before I forget, each room has its own infinity pool. While the elite Palafitos have large decks and chayas lounges where you can survey the crystal blue waters below, the presidential bungalow, which houses up to four, takes things up a few notches. This luxury suite has two bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room with a smart TV, and a private plunge pool. It also has two indoor whirlpool tubs, because why not? Bungalows across categories also have glass floors, letting you take a peek at the marine life below from the comfort of your bed. They also have their own 7-inch touchscreen telephones, which let you place room service orders any time of the day or night. Rooms come with a price tag well upwards of $1,500 per night, which may seem hefty at first, but when you consider just how much is on offer, I think you'll agree that it's worth it. Remember, this is an all-inclusive price, which includes all meals, drinks, and amenities. All Palafitos guests get access to their own private butler, who waits patiently on the shore, ready to fulfill all of your requests. The butler can arrange anything for you, from a private picnic on the beach to a reservation at one of El Dorado's restaurants. The butlers can also hook you up with a golf cart so you don't have to walk all the way to the main hotel area, where you will have access to a fitness center, a tennis club, and multiple outdoor pools. At the nearby Marina Maroma, guests can also take part in a range of activities, including scuba diving sessions, jet ski rides, or deep sea fishing. While guests across all categories can enjoy most of these luxuries, presidential suite guests have access to some additional amenities. These suites come equipped with their own paddle boards, kayaks, snorkeling gear, aromatherapy and pillow menus, and complimentary laundry service. 
Residential bungalow guests also get priority for dinner reservations, premium food menus, and unrestricted access to all of El Dorado's events and restaurants. Speaking of food, the El Dorado has ensured guests never need to step onto the shore during their vacation, courtesy of the Overwater Ocean Grill and Wine Bar, open exclusively for Palafitos guests. This two-story dining room is surrounded by glass windows on all sides, as well as on the floor, giving guests the impression that they're floating out at sea. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it is as suited for a romantic dinner as it is for enjoying a few cocktails with the sunset. Since all Palafito guests are put on El Dorado's gourmet inclusive package, guests here will be taken on an all-inclusive culinary journey across Latin America, sampling authentic Mexican cuisine, exotic Peruvian fare, and tropical Caribbean classics. Besides that, guests of the bungalows also gain access to the six restaurants and four bars over on shore, which include Italian and Pan-Asian options. But that's not all. Palafitos guests also have exclusive access to Latin America's only overwater spa, Neye. At this wellness center, you can enjoy an entire body massage or opt for one of the exclusive treatments based on Mayan herbal practices. For instance, the Maroma Sea Moss treatment is known for its detoxifying properties and can only be found in this part of the Caribbean. There are a total of 14 spa suites at Neye, which also has a hydrotherapy facility, a fitness center with a CrossFit arena, and a sensorial relaxation room. Every year since El Dorado first introduced tourists to its exclusive Palafitos, the hotel has consistently featured as a nominee for Mexico's leading resort at the World Travel Awards. And it makes sense. This adults-only paradise isn't like your average five-star resort in Cancun. It's the closest thing North America has to its own Bora Bora.